We're in Cincinnati, home of the Cincinnati Mangles at the Concrete Jungle. You know, people say this town is a real hellhole. <laughs> they couldn't be more right. You know, my Goober driver almost fell into this giant sinkhole on the way to the hotel. Yeah, hey, don't surprise me. One of Satan's favorite cities to hang in. Makes sense he's got his own highway to hell, right? And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Green Bay Attackers battle. The Cincinnati Mangles. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. It's a beautiful day for MFL football. At least in the booth with the AC, personal servants, and blood shield. Hi, Grim Blitzer here with you, along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. How are you guys doing? I'm doing that little hottie who works at Deep Fry at the concessions. He said how, not who, you idiot. Even if you got the answer right. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Second down in a m and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. to the races. Third down and five. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. for the touchdown. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's 
First and ten. He could go all the way. He's at the... Here comes the defense. The 20. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Hey, man, I was hanging on the panel now. You know what happened? <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. First down and five. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, nice hit. for a yard. Third down and nine. Oh, man, he really wants it. Pow, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Transformed into a violent form of pure badass. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. 
And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. Yeah, telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll be second down and four. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And that'll be second down and four. He runs it for three. And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed the beat for break. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Ten-yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here, he's just making up ground. Yeah. Makes up news. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Any break, first down! And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. He refuses to go down. Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. The people like it. You never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. 
This guy's a brick shit house. And it's first and ten. First, nicely done. And it's first and ten. Well, fee, five, four, four. Oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Vanji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. If you're aware of this, but for every touchdown he scores, he drinks the blood of his enemies and donates a thousand dollars to a local children's hospital. What a player! Oh, everything! The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Walk Dirty Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Oh, and he just turns ginormous. Look out! One for a first down. And it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, look at this guy breaks. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And that'll bring up third down and seven. <laughs> and that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self -dying. But he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, with a monster hit! Well, technically, they're all monster hits, Grim, because, you know, they're all monsters. Point taken. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Oh, my gosh! The defensive... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crushed. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Well, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard?
sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and in inches. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? <laughs> Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. First down and six. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and six. Two timeouts burned, and you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He is fighting for every up. Great run for a nine-yard gain. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And that'll bring up second and one. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. And timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> and it's first and ten. No one was open downfield, so the QB threw the ball away. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Satan Industries. Eat their delicious Frankenfood. Hey, throw in the half. Can you pick me up a soil and beer? Third quarter. We are all tied up and set to kick off the second half. Uh, speaking of all tied up, Grim, how many of them elephant lacks in a belt did I take? Uh, I feel like I'm sitting on Mount Vesuvio right now. Oh, one false move and I'm going to blow. 
go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three. for four yards. Second down and six. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I mean, and anything really tastes good. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fu 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 fuck? The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. First down and one. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through no. those defenders like a greased turkey. Man, this guy could teach you a thing or two, Bricks. He's an orc, Bricks. He probably only knows a thing or two. Hey, I'm going to tell what you just said. No, no need for that. Let the man dance. Oh, 
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Second down in a very lot. for the first down. And it's first and ten. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and four. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks! First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight, the fourth quarter is about to begin. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Now, this 
should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. that that's right you can't handle this you can't handle what i got yeah get the hell out of here man second down and ain't gonna happen partner and bricks they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play and i just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and, well, good luck. And the defense just called the giant. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Hey, man, I was killing on Silla. I am on hell and all Silla. Third down and long. This is your brain, and this is your brain on berserker drugs. And that is that guy's brain getting crushed out of his helmet by that guy whose brain is on berserker drugs. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snag. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! 
And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 30. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. Oh, he scores! Here are no points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Dirty trick called by the D, and the offense is pissed. <laughs> oh, for you kids at home, that's how you play mutant football. Hey, wait a minute. What the? Uh, did they, didn't they just? Uh, am I losing my mind, or did that play that I saw just not happen? Uh, I gotta stop smoking them on tiny laundry pods. And it's first and ten. This guy is going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. First down and one. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Second down and six. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Third and four. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. 
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. That is a lousy kickoff. The offense is going to have great field position. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Take the ball, asshole. Third down and five. Oh, he just got crushed. And we are all tied up and we're going to overtime. Go ahead and cancel that quality time with the family and continue to stream it to television. This is going to be great. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, uh, Grandma, I didn't understand any of that. Can you repeat it? Not a chance. And it's first and ten. You can't keep a good mutant down. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. They're taking what the defense has given them. That's a four-yard gain on the reception. Hey, less than a wipe for the headache. Second down and six. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Second down in a lot. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. Third down and, well, good luck. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore.
This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Third down and never going to happen. If they don't pick it up here, they are giving a gift to the defense. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, yeah. The Simpson Nasty Mangles get mangled today in a devastating home loss. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.